Hey guys, and welcome to part three of Hydro Mudder. And I figured I'd just give you a taste of uh, Maine weather just before Christmas time. So here's what I've been dealing with for the last uh, four days or so. And I've managed to ruin about three different chainsaw chains, a machete blade, and I lost a hatchet. So anyways, let's get back to the build and let's see if we can't manage to go and get some stuff going on. Alright, so at this point, if we have everything lined up correctly, and this shaft and this shaft should be exactly the same distance on both sides. So what we should be able to do is get out our chain, which we have right here, and we should be able to put it on and use a chain connecting clamp like this which just unscrews in order to widen and screws in order to tighten in order to pinch your chain and mark where your link needs to be popped out and then from there we've got our chain break tool so that we can be able to break the chain so here we go first thing we're going to do is set out our chain connecting tool and we're going to find our end link So at this point, in theory, both sides should be exactly the same. And we want to leave just enough room for a master link to go in between. Alright, so now that we have our chain cut off, all we should have to do is just flip it on and be able to press it together. and put our master well, I'm not going to bore you with putting the clip on but basically at this point this chain and that chain in theory should be exactly the same length so I'm going to pull this off I'm going to measure it out cut the other chain to the same exact length and then we'll go from there alright so as you can see I now have chains on both sides but now I have some problems to deal with uh, the first of which is that when I cut off this axle, I ended up cutting out the keyway that was going to be associated. So what I will probably do is set this all the way in and then weld this right direct after cutting it off a little bit more flush. I'm going to weld it right directly on since those axles are already ruined. And then on the back side here, I still have the keyway I can use along with the locking hex heads. So we're going to get it pulled back and locked in place and then move on to the next problem. And there we are. So we're just going to take that and we're going to weld it right solid to the end of the axle. All right, so as you can see at this point, this is welded on. We've got this stationary. Now we've come back. We're getting our pillow blocks in position, pulling the chain up tight as we can. And what we've done is taken a ratchet strap and put it over the top, down the back side and around and tied it to the center of the shaft. That way we can pull the whole thing back against the gears and position the pillow blocks. As you can see one there and one under there. This 
this is the original shifting linkage. This is the new shifting lever. Reverse, neutral, pull forward. Yep. Okay. Kill switch disconnected. Oh, I never tightened on the engine pulley. So the tinking was it bouncing upside down. Oops. <laughs> well folks, now you know that runs. Well, at this point, we've figured out the fact that the concept seems to be working. Um, it does have a little bit of play in the chain, so at some point I'm going to need to install some sort of idler sprocket onto it. Um, the other side's a lot looser. I think my screw holes for the pillow block, uh, my adjustment holes, I may not have made them quite, um, quite on par for that side. So I'm going to see if I can move those back on the other side just a little bit and go from there. And I may end up doing this side just a little bit to see if I can get just a little more tension because the chain is a little looser than I would like it, but at least it's good enough to test at this point. Um, the shifter, I noticed, doesn't actually seem to go all the way to the full throttle of the machine's capability on the transmission. So I'm going to have to bend that or cut it out, see if I can manage to make that work. So at this point, we're just going to get the sheet metal cut out, thrown on. I'm going to make some sort of shroud for this fan blade from Satan that's going to be sitting right between my, uh, my legs. And we'll go from there. Thanks guys for your support. The kids and I really appreciate it.